Hey, what's up everyone? Today I give you guys a more in-depth review for Mission Impossible 2 on 4K, which also happens to be my least favorite movie out of this franchise. So upon viewing, as I mentioned in my previous review, when we first see Tom Cruise climbing the mountain in uh, one of the opening sequences, basically that scene right there is rather soft. It almost looks like you're watching it on Blu-ray until it cuts to his face and you can see every nook and cranny. And the, uh, the dance sequence, which is near the 11 minute mark, the black levels look slightly crushed, and the flesh tones are pushed a little too much to the red. It almost looks like every person in that scene is going through some major allergic reaction. But overall, close-up shots, as I said, look excellent. There are certain scenes, though, where it goes slightly on the soft side, then becomes sharp again. So it's not consistent. It's not sharp from beginning to end. It just fluctuates back and forth. But for the most part, it looks excellent. So even though the grain is intact, it does appear that some DNR was applied in certain scenes. Thankfully, not a lot, though. And in regards to DNR, I'm okay with it as long as it's completely necessary for technical purposes. Like for example, if you're trying to match a low resolution special effect shot with some high resolution footage, then I can understand. But if it's going to be butchered like the Ultimate Hunter edition of Predator, where the characters look like freaking wax figurines, then I'm sorry, but that I cannot accept. If I wanted to see a wax figurine of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I would have gone to a Madame Tussauds museum. I don't want to see that on Blu-ray. And let's keep our fingers crossed because they recently announced Predator on um, 4K. So I really hope that uh, they give us a really nice transfer. And 20th Century Fox certainly knows that uh, a lot of people complained about the Ultimate Hunter edition. So let's certainly hope we're going to get a decent transfer. But anyway, man, if you leave it up to me, I don't want to see any DNR. I hate DNR. And that's the whole point of 4K. So if we're going to upgrade to the next format, which is considered the next best thing, then we certainly expect the next best thing. But anyway, I'm still bummed we don't get the Atmos track for the first four Mission Impossible films. We basically get the 5.1 mix for movies 1 through 3. We get the 7.1 mix for Ghost Protocol. And we get the Atmos track for Rogue Nation. But all in all, the important thing is Mission Impossible 2 does look better than the Blu-ray. So anyway, that's my review. I'll see you guys in my next update. Take care.